Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, expert in health and longevity and creator of Bogash Life and Balance. And today we're going to talk about a study that ties in a couple different concepts together in a really cool way. And it has everything to do with oral health and how much that plays a role in overall inflammation and how inflammation then plays a role in other things. And so this was a study out of uh, Malawi, Malawi, it was an African country, and where th there's a huge number of preterm births that occur annually across the globe, and usually areas that have lower medical resources, poorer countries have more of a problem. So if there's something really simple that can be done to help lower the preterm birth weight, or I'm sorry, the preterm birth or babies being born early, then that's going to have a huge impact on childhood mortality and overall health throughout the rest of that child's life. Because we know that preterm birth also <clears throat> sets a child up for things like heart disease and diabetes and obesity later in life. So if a child is being born premature, like it's not a good thing. So, so what did they do? Well, they had these people chew sugar-free gum twice a day. Important caveat here, if you happen to see this title somewhere, the, <clears throat> the, title, the author, or a lot of the media reports were saying chewing sugar-free gum, but that is not it at all. So if you grab the typical piece of gum with aspartame or NutraSweet or sucralose or something, it's not what we're talking about here. It's going to create more problems than that's gonna solve. Instead, the sugar-free gum we're talking about here is xylitol-based, <clears throat> which is what we typically promote. Our office uh, carries Epic Dental brand. I'll put a link to that in the description. But xylitol is a naturally occurring sugar alcohol, hence the OL. Sh uh, sugar-free chocolate also usually has mannitol in it. So this is something that's been used for a long time. Uh, again, naturally occurring, just put in higher levels in things like gum. And they found that when women choose, a large study, it covered something like a decade of data. Uh, 4,200 women who chewed gum twice a day, not a hard thing to do, very easy resource. You know, give them a, you know, you find out somebody's pregnant and you give them a bag of gum to last all the way through pregnancy. And they found that it lowered preterm birth by 24%. Now, the real numbers are 12.6% versus 16.4. So it was a drop of about 4%, but that's a, for such a simple intervention with no side effects and very inexpensive, that makes a lot of sense. So it also lowered the risk of a baby being born um, low for, with low birth weight, but that might have more to do with the fact that they were um, going longer term. So, uh, so how does this tie everything in together? Like how would gum possibly help? Well, it has everything to do with inflammation in the oral cavity. And we know that inflammation, like periodontal disease, can set you up for inflammation in your entire body. Things like heart disease and preterm birth. We know that preterm birth is associated with inflammation, especially in the vaginal vault. So, um, Women who have like bacterial vaginosis are increased risk of preterm birth, but periodontal disease can also increase the risk of preterm birth. So using a xylitol-based gum, which has been known for a long time to change the bacteria in the gut in a friendly way, actually lower the risk of preterm birth. Like it's a really simple intervention. I don't think anybody died in the study. Uh, you know, certainly you could in inhale the gum and get stuck in the airway, but short of that, I'm pretty sure nobody died in the study. Safe, inexpensive, had a pretty big impact for such a low, um, such a simple and cheap intervention. It really makes sense to understand how much the oral cavity plays a role in overall health and healthy pregnancies and how much just chewing xylitol-based gum can have an impact on that. As always, I'll post a link to this particular study in the description. Make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs the information, and subscribe to the channel.